What's going on guys, it's Patrick. Today, we're gonna to talk about Splice. Now I've been using the Splice subscription service for a little over a year now. There's definitely a lot that I really like about it and maybe one or two things that I wish were a little bit different. Now, if you clicked on this video, chances are you know all about Splice, but here's a quick overview for those of you who don't. Splice is a cloud-based music creation platform and website. Now there's a ton that you can do with Splice, but its main feature is this huge library of royalty-free samples. You can use Splice to collaborate with other music producers and store your project files in the cloud. You can download instrument presets for for plugins like Serum and Silent, and they even offer a rent to own service for popular plugins like Atoria's V Collection, which is a personal favorite of mine. Using Splice on practically a weekly basis for the past year, I definitely have some thoughts to share with you. I'm gonna show you a little bit how I personally like to use Splice, and hopefully this will help you decide if Splice is a good investment for you. This video is not sponsored in any way. I paid for the subscription service for the last one year plus with my own hard earned dollars. So if you like the video, if you like the Info, please be sure to leave a like and a comment it really helps the channel out but anyway that's enough intro let's get into my thoughts on splice first thought one shot now this is the perfect place to start because this is kind of the whole reason I got into Splice in the first place. Now a few years ago when I really started getting into beat making, I already knew how to record live instruments and work with MIDI instruments and sounds. But what I was really trying to figure out was how to make actual drum beats because frankly, I was getting a little tired of using the Logic Drummer on every single track that I made. Pretty much every single one of my tracks sounded like this. With this drum beat. If you know, you know. So I started talking with some friends, learning a little bit more about samples and how to make beats. I started searching the internet, Reddit, anywhere I could, trying to find sample packs with some nice sounding one shots. A few times I would find a really good sample pack that was worth spending like 20 bucks on. And this is kind of how I did it for a couple of years. It certainly wasn't always the easiest thing to find really good drum samples and one shots. Knowing that Splice has such a large sample library filled with one shots, is one of the key things that drew me to the subscription service in the first place. As I became more familiar with the sample library, I started to discover that they even had some sample packs from some of my favorite producers. Now this is super dope because you can go into the J Dilla sample pack or the Chromio sample pack or the Oliver sample pack, just to name a few of my favorite producers, and you can download a bunch of these one shots and create your own kit. So let me show you what this looks like. So if we go over to Splice and we click on this tab up here that says Sounds, you obviously get all of these sample packs. Now sometimes these sample packs have one shots, sometimes they have loops, sometimes they have MIDI progressions, or sometimes they have a combination of the three. But if we go into the Oliver pack, for example, you can see there's a bunch of different loops, there's a bunch of different one shots, and you can cycle through these really easily and see if there's any that you like. You can also go to this drop down menu up here, and if you just wanna see the one shots, you can select that and it'll give you all of the one shots. And you can see over here on the right, these little blue arrows mean that I've downloaded these one shots. So what happens when you download them is they end up in this little splice desktop app. You can see here, these are all of the one shots that I've downloaded. So then what I did was I went into logic over here. I loaded up ultra beat and all you have to do is just drag your sample onto ultra beat and it loads it in automatically for you. Then you go through the rest of your kit pieces and just drag and drop the corresponding one shot sample. Now, of course, this is just one way that you can use one shots. You can also just drag and drop them right onto your workspace and map out your drum parts that way. But the reason I like doing it this way is because now I can go and actually play out my drum parts. So having such a huge sample library filled with one shots and sample packs from some of the world's greatest producers is one of the main reasons why I use Splice. So my second thought is writer's block because you can pretty much kiss that goodbye when you're using something like Splice. Splice is constantly being updated with new samples and new sample packs, not to mention instrument presets. So if you're using Splice, you should never have a shortage of ideas. If you sit down one day and you're trying to write a song or you're trying to make a track and you're kind of stuck for ideas, start going through Splice. I guarantee you will find something that will spark your creative interest. And then you can start writing your song or building a track around this one little sample idea that you found. Now, another thing that's really cool is sometimes you'll find a little loop or a sample that will spark an idea. And then the song evolves to a point where you're not even using the original sample. So this one little sample has pretty much sparked a whole separate idea of its own. So let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. A couple weeks ago, I was doing a co-writing session with a lyricist and I was the producer. And together we were trying to come up with a direction and a track idea. So I started going through Splice and I came across a sample pack called Orla's Secret Sample Pack. And we found this drum beat. So 
So I brought the sample into Logic, sped up the tempo a little bit, and started laying down some guitar ideas, and we ended up with this. As the session progressed, we started moving away from that original beat idea, and we ended up with a track that sounds like this. Now I know what you may be thinking, Patrick, isn't the point to actually use Splice to use these samples? Of course it is, but I also think that it's worth noting that this can also be used as a creative tool, a place to start building ideas and get the creative juices flowing. One thing is for sure, with a resource like Splice, you'll never be short of new ideas. And my third thought is for musicians. I believe that Splice can actually make you a better musician. We all fall into those habits on our instrument where we just continue to make the same choices over and over, we get drawn to the same riffs, and the same chord progressions, and you can find yourself in a little bit of a mundane situation sometimes when you're trying to write chord progressions and you just keep writing the same formula over and over. Now I wanna show you another quick example. This time I was stuck trying to come up with a chord progression. One of the things that I like to do when I'm really feeling stuck is browse some different keyboard parts, and I ended up finding this sample in a sample pack called Soulful Piano and Keys Volume 2. Now that sample really interested me, it really excited me, it sparked my creativity, and I ended up just figuring out the chords on the guitar and playing along with it. I found this other little sample on Splice that I really liked. And from there we were off to the races. I ended up building this whole track around these three little parts. Some of you may recognize this track, but let me play a little bit for you. Now, unlike the last example where the initial loop didn't even make the final track, here we built the entire track around the original loop. So it just goes to show you some different ways that Splice can inspire you and benefit your creative process. So as I'm sure you can gather, I think Splice is a great tool, there's no question. Furthermore, I think if you're making pop music, rap, trap, hip hop beats, electronic music, Splice might be one of the best tools there is for you. Now personally, I pay $7.99 a month for Splice, that is the lowest possible payment tier. That gets you 100 credits per month, any unused credits, they do not disappear, they will roll over, which I think is great. But as somebody who uses Splice on a weekly basis, and I'm regularly downloading samples and instrument plugins, I still find myself with way more credits than I would ever need. And I think that's my only gripe. I do wish there was like a lower payment tier, something like a $4.99 payment tier that gets you like 50 credits. I think that would be perfect for somebody like me. I use one, maybe two samples per track. Even when I'm downloading a few plugin presets, which cost three credits a piece, or when I'm making a drum kit from a bunch of one shots, like I showed you with the Oliver sample pack, I usually spend about 10 credits there. I'm still falling below my monthly credit allotment, so it would be nice to see a cheaper payment option. But even at the lowest $7.99 subscription option, I still think Splice is totally worth it. So listen, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope this gave you a better idea of what Splice is, how you can use it, and if it's a subscription that you should invest in. If you are new around here and you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. On this channel, we talk about everything from gear and instruments to music production and songwriting. So I hope you'll stick around. But listen, until next time, my name's Patrick. I'll catch y'all soon, all right? Peace.